Armin, so nice to have you. Your <laughs> energy is absolutely infectious here this morning. So nice to be here, thank you. You do a lot of stuff with lemons, but I first... Do. We go to uh, tea bags, I believe, because you've had tea that. bags. Tell us what you're doing with tea bags. Believe it or not, tea bags are the perfect thing to get your uh, mirrors streak free, and that's because of the tannic acid in tea. It's like the brilliant thing to to get it to be crystal clear. All you, all you need to do is dip it in. Well, it works best if you dip it in hot water. Hot water. water. Which okay. Is, this is actually dip it in hot water, and then just use it to. Clean the mirror, obviously wipe it down with a paper towel afterwards, but it'll leave it streak-free. Completely, and Completely of course, these free. are so and healthy. You know, an even better way to do this is uh, brew like two, three uh, tea bags and then put the, uh, the tea into a, a spray bottle yeah. and then spray your mirrors and then clean it. And that works it, even better. Does but it this work is for all mirrors tricks. and glass or just? Mirrors and glass. Fantastic. Absolutely. So next we're looking at, hi, when I love myself, cleaning makeup brushes. Oh. <laughs> Make That's what you get for showing up. Makeup brushes, <laughs> yes. Makeup brushes, my fiance, I looked at her one day, I was like, do you ever clean these makeup brushes? And she said, oh, I hate this. Uh... It's a tedious process. So I decided to think of an easier way to do this. And all you need to do is uh, baking soda. Do we have baking soda? We have baking soda. I believe it's in this. No. Which, where's our baking? Oh, this. Oh, right there. One. Baking soda. No. Pour it a uh, teaspoon or two. Yeah. And then uh, the brush in there, coat, coat the brush in the baking soda. Yeah. Then we're going to get some vinegar, which is right here, I think. The y vinegar. Is this vinegar? Oh, this is vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> vinegar. Pour it, and then you're going to see the sizzle. That's gonna loosen up oh, wow. and, and get and you know uh, loosen up the bacteria inside of it. You're gonna leave it there for normally five minutes, but yeah. we don't have five minutes. We're just gonna take this out right now, and the the bacteria in there is just gonna start to loosen up. So all the dirt, all the bacteria, yes. everything else just comes off. And once you do that, just dry it off and. And not perfect. once once you do that, yeah. people don't like the vinegar smell. But then also it's a, it's like a dual effect. So you get rid of the uh, the the vinegar smell and. Uh, you get rid of the remaining gunk, like you called it last the time. The gunk. So you just rub, <laughs> you rub it back and forth on the lemon like this, and then obviously rinse it in water. And then what you want to do is just uh, pat dry it afterwards, yeah. and then take a coat hanger. What I did, I just kind of tied it with a with a hair tie, and then I just hung it. Let hung it dry. It up. Let it dry. Air dry. That's the best way to do it. Perfect. Try um, it. How do you find out how to do all these things? Because you've so many hacks. I mean, the next one is your homemade cleaning spray. I mean, the, the, did you search the internet for it or did you just experiment yourself? Experiment and research, that's my main thing. You know, people watch Netflix, go out and, you know, work out and play video games. What I do is I just sit there and try to figure out some ways to simplify people's like, lives. This cleaning spray is brilliant because it works Absolutely. on so many different surfaces. Tell us about this. Cleaning spray, people squeeze uh, the lemon ju juice out, out of lemons and they just throw out the peels. But the peels have so many benefits still so what you want to do is kind of just uh, cut some slices like this not too big not too small because if they're too small they'll get stuck in the you know spray bottle yeah. add them into the spray bottle just kind of squeeze them in there I'm just gonna add two for now just kind of show you guys the example here but does it need the juice as well or can you actually just use the rind well, pieces and the remainder the, the purpose of this is to uh, recycle the remains of the lemon peel so Perfect. once you're ju done juicing it don't just throw chop the them peel. up and put them in exactly Perfect. put them in and then we're gonna do uh, we're gonna add tiny bit of dish soap like how, how much is tiny uh, just like literally a, like, a drop like literally a drop or two mm -hmm. and we're gonna add uh, half a teaspoon of salt Salt, salt, salt. Salt, salt, salt. Here we salt. go. Here's a teaspoon. Everything looks different here in Ireland. <laughs> I know. I know. We're quite strange over here, but no, we still have all the ingredients. ingredients uh, and they're all ingredients you would have at home in exactly. your, in your, in your that, kitchen presses. That's the presses. beauty. That's the beauty of it. Add a teaspoon of salt and then a half a cup of vinegar. We're just going to measure so this out by eye. We have vinegar, salt, tea, and what was the other one? Oh, no tea. No tea, sorry. Salt, no tea is the other one. Salt, lemon, lemons, and vinegar. vinegar. Perfect. And then we're going to take some water and then fill the, the rest of the bottle with water. And I'm spilling every, You know, I do this in all my videos. My kitchen is oh, a it's, mess it's, after my videos. It's fine. You fill we, it up. You have all the hacks to clean it up after <laughs> anyway, so it's all good. You close it. And what you have right now is a tax, non-toxic, uh, disinfectant, lemony, citrusy. Fantastic. What's better than that, you know? Now, and before you go, I've tried Can this you one. You, you told us this one about how to de-wrinkle your clothes. I tried it. It works. You're a genius. It's, Tell it's us. It's also, I, I don't know about you, but I, I hate ironing. Oh, yeah, I don't believe and, in ironing. Yeah, I sometimes I just need, like, one shirt to wear, and it's all wrinkled. So you just take an ice cube, pop it in. So here's a wrinkly shirt, right? 
We don't have a dryer right now, but... But we have ice. Yes. And a wrinkly shirt. One ice cube is all you need. You pop it in in a dryer with the wrinkly shirt. What happens is the ice cube becomes like a... Uh, it, it, it creates like a steam effect. Yeah. And, so then, and then it zaps away all the wrinkles. So how long would you leave it in the dryer I, for? 30 seconds a minute. Fantastic. You are a genius. But you not only have hacks for cleaning, you have hacks for the kitchen as well. I shall send you over to my learned colleague, Simon. Simon. Come on over to my domain, man. How are you? You too. Listen, this is my domain of the kitchen. Right. One of the, there's a couple of things you're going to help me with because this drives me spare. How to untangle this or tin foil? Tin foil. So one day, I, one morning, <clears throat> I looked at my fiance, Bella, and I said, Hey, I'm sick of this problem, you know? And, and I, I was trying to fix the issue know, like this, you know? know? And then as I was doing it, I looked and I looked at it. I was like, wait. You're wasting it. I'm yeah. wasting it. Well, I was like, wait, maybe you can turn, you know, crumble this into a ball? And? I, this is just a theory in my head. Yeah. I looked at it and I just said, then we could use the ball to kind of scrape away the, the uh, tangles, right? Inside your head must in be a very head. interesting place, isn't it? It, wa <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even uh, tested yet. So then we just we just did it, and then all you got to do is kind of scrape it. Let's see if it works again. You just kind of scrape it in a line like this, and you're creating a new tear. You create a new tear, as as long as you got through the whole thing in a one line, yeah, it should just untangle. Yeah, Boom. yeah, yeah. Done. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you're a genius. Now, we've had a couple of items on this show. You know, we're talking about the cost of living going up, food, etc. The biggest problem that we have in our kitchens is waste. Okay? Absolutely. So how you've got a couple of tips in terms of fruit and veg, how to make them last longer. So that's the main thing is people <clears throat> buy fruits and vegetables and, yeah. and you know, half of it goes into waste and then yeah. Uh, people spend so much money on it, so why not find ways to uh, store them and keep them fresh longer? Yeah. So with lettuce, believe it or not, you buy lettuce, you put it in the fridge, and it just rots and yeah, it starts yeah. getting mushy in three days. Yeah, yeah. But if you put it in foil and tightly wrap it like this, and then stick it in the fridge, what happens is, uh, first of all, light doesn't hit the lettuce, which makes okay. it go bad. And two, most fruits and vegetables in the fridge release a, a gas called ethylene. Okay. So by covering the lettuce with foil, the ethylene doesn't uh, get inside the lettuce. But the lettuce. trick there is, Armin, is to take it out of the packaging because the plastic packaging exactly. ain't good for no, us. No, it's not good. So roll it in, in tin foil back and, in the fridge. Know, most people say foil is bad for you, but it's only really bad for you if, if you cook with it. Heat. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but yeah, otherwise, yeah. in the fridge, it's not going to do anything. Okay, so last one is these things. These things, uh, the shopping boards. That's my favorite. All right, go for it. Now, this is my one favorite is... hack. So you got a wooden cutting board that's stained yep. or any, anything on it. All you need to do is sprinkle some salt on it like this, get a half a lemon, uh, squeeze the juice on it, and then use that same lemon to scrub away the stain. Check this out. And look, it comes up. It's going to come right off. I mean, it might take you, you know, a minute to do this. And as a result, then, also, the, the, the bar is going to smell gorgeous. Yeah, exactly. There's Lemony. another little tip I find as well with lemons is if you're cutting half a lemon to use in the sauce, yeah. put the other half in the fridge. Yes. And it takes any smells or yes. odours out of the fridge. It does. Lemon absorbs odours. We could be a double act, man. <laughs> Let's do this. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you're super it. Welcome. You've, uh, you've saved my life when it comes to chopping boards because they are the bane of my existence. Thank you, Armin. Thank you for welcome. making it because yes, I know sir. you just about made it. Uh, you can keep in touch with all that this man, Armin, is doing by visiting his website, creativeexplained.com, or by following him on Instagram <laughs> or TikTok or by searching creative underscore explained. Right. Whew, need to lie down. Over to Elaine. Thanks, Armin.